For the sign of Pisces, hello and welcome to my channel. Just keep in mind the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. And I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So Pisces, in the recent past we have the Three of Pentacles. Now this is a very positive card. Particularly with regards to work and career questions. But it's a good overall card in the tarot that means you're doing really well at this time and since we're talking about the past it will be in the recent past now keep in mind the three of pentacles it tells you that the people around you they appreciate you and your efforts they notice the quality of work you do even if you're not getting paid for it this card it it tells you to keep doing what you're doing as you're on the right track, although there is room for improvement, at that time you would not have needed to scrap something, then start over. Now the page, the Three of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Three of Pentacles is paired with the Page of Pentacles. Now, this card is about boredom. You were probably tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little excitement. You needed to rethink that impulse and find a better use of your energy. Because we all know excitement can be created. Now with the Page of Pentacles, it's a very excellent energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious work to get done. The page can give you focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. That's the recent past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Now with the Ten of Pentacles, uh, if you look at the picture, you can see that it's, uh, it has a great deal. Well, you can see clearly that you have a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships, friendships, um, finance, health, they all should be going well for you at this time. You need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it and be sure to share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we all know we give back what we give out. The Ten of Pentacles is paired with the Tower card. Now this just means that you're holding on too tightly to the status quo, which can be disastrous. You need to roll with the changes. Also, it's likely that some people or situations that you counted on as being there for you, they're probably no longer there in quite the same way. Now keep in mind, this does not have to be drastic. Change is the nature of life, so if you try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. Also, if you have been building castles in the air, this may be the time that some of them come crashing down. And keep in mind, it's only a problem if you let it be. You will be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart this month. Just remember dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. To be living in a reality too, that's important. With these two cards paired together, the Ten of Pentacles uh, is a happy life, happy finance, happy health. Uh, all is going well for you at this time. Make the best of it and count your blessings, uh, share what you have. And it's paired with the Tower card. Uh, hmm. It looks like something, uh, something changed or something happened. A situation, uh, some type of matter, an incident happened. Um, uh, uh, the, cards, the, the cards do not show what it is, but um, it's going to be okay uh, because it's, it's about change, okay? Change is necessary and, and we cannot stop change, 
okay? Um, something, it's something that you counted on as being there for you. It's not there in quite the same way, okay? But you have the Ten of Pentacles, so everything is going well, but it looks like maybe that changed. So something took a turn, and it, it changed, and something came crashing down. I don't know. It could be it could be just an incident. It could be just um, just something minor. It doesn't have to be anything big or drastic. Um, but like I said, change is the nature of life. So if you try to prevent it, it's going to be um, a problem for you. Okay, so with those two cards paired together, uh, I would say you got a little, you got a lot of good, and then something, something takes a turn. Okay, but just roll with the changes because that's the nature of life. That's the present, and then we move on to the challenge, and we have the six of cups. Now this card is about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected to your childhood or children. So it's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. We all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time, but if we start thinking that the best of years have all gone by, then that's going to be a, that's going to become a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's paired with the Hermit card. Uh, the Hermit is an extremely spiritual card. Um, it sometimes has something to do with institutions and large organizations. Could be anything from a bank to the church. Um, just like the strength card, you may even be uh, so much in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also very much a card about trying too hard to do the right thing. Just make sure that doing the right thing includes what's right for you and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. With these two cards paired together, you're looking back on how things used to be. Uh, you're reminiscent of the good old days. Um, it's okay to reflect from time to time, but don't start thinking the best of years have all gone by because you'll fulfill that prophecy if you do so. And it's paired with the Hermit card. Um, because you're doing so much reminiscing, uh, you're probably spending too much time alone, okay? Time alone is necessary and it's needed, okay? But um, just make sure you're doing the right thing by spending so much time alone and having so much in your head about memories of the past, okay? Um, the church is a good thing. Maybe join the church. Uh, because the hermit is about uh, spirituality. Maybe you're thinking about uh, the church. It's a group setting, so it'll be a great way to take your mind off of whatever you're reminiscing about from childhood. And um, it'll also get you out of your head. Okay? And that's going to be the challenge. Now let's move on to the outcome. We have a temperance card. Now, with this card, all your relationships, they're likely to be going well. You may need to look at your deeper personal issues and see if or how these are standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. The ideal now is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with your goals and aspirations. That's the Temperance card. It's paired with a Two of Wands. Now, it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right and getting enough rest. 
The two of wands also indicates a partnership with one person or another or with one other person. Let me, let me rephrase that. The two of wands, it indicates a partnership with one other person. That's why it's two, two of wands. So if you look at the picture, you see the two wands standing. So it's a partnership with another person, with one other person. Now this can be business or personal or both. Uh, the two of wands reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take required for all successful re relationships. If things are feeling out of balance for you right now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. Keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for and remain positive or get positive. With these two cards paired together, the temperance card, um, all your relationships are likely to be going well, but, but you need to look at your deeper personal issues and see if they're standing in your way because it's paired with the two of wands. Uh, you're going to have to try to find balance. And eat, even little simple things like eating right and getting enough rest. Um, that would help you with any of your personal issues that you might have at this time, even though all your relationships are going well. So it's important to find balance. And make sure you maintain give and take in relationships. Keep your eyes on the prize because things will, will be turning around um, well, things will be getting substantially better in many ways. Keep your eyes on the prize. And that's going to be the outcome. So, Pisces, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. But then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching, and have a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day.